Dennis's day off. The engines on the island of Sodor are always busy. They like being busy. They all work hard. No engine enjoys being busy more than Thomas. Thomas is always a very busy engine. A hard worker too. Thomas was at Tidmill Sheds. He was happy. Sir Topham Hat was at Tidmill Sheds too. He had three important jobs for Thomas. Thomas, first you were to shunt trucks in the yards, and then you must take trucks and trucks of trucks of crates to Brendam Docks. He said cheerfully, and then you must pull Annie and Clarabel. Be quick now continued the fat control, and don't dawdle. And there is a new engine on Sodor, his name is Dennis. You must all make him feel welcome and ready to accompany the Sodor fleet. All the engines smiled. We will, sir. <laughs> That's settled then, said Sir Topham Man. I best be off now. Thomas was excited and he puffed quickly away to the shunting yards. <laughs> Thomas went speeding down the line. He couldn't wait to get to the yards. Thomas steamed through the countryside. He was very excited indeed. He tooted his whistle. At last, Thomas arrived. As Thomas puffed in, he could see a diesel right beside him. It was a diesel he had ne never met before. The diesel was hooting and honking huffily. Hello, steamed Thomas. Who are you? I'm Dennis. I'm the new diesel. Can you help me, Thomas? I need to get these trucks of towels to the schoolhouse. Of course, said Thomas. I'm happy to help. <laughs> Thomas completely forgotten about his other jobs that needed to be done straight away. He dropped everything to help Dennis. <laughs> Thomas knew that helping a friend was just as important as caring about yourself. So he buffered up to the trucks and puffed away. Follow me, Dennis, added Thomas. <laughs> Dennis followed Thomas closely. What an easy engine, laughed Dennis, cheekily. Dennis led Thomas along as far as the nearest junction. Dennis was surprised. Why so short a ride, Thomas? said Dennis. I'd love to take you further, said Thomas, but I can only go as far as the nearest junction. I have my own work to do. But Dennis was lazy. He didn't want to do any of his own work. <sighs> what shall I do now, he thought. Dennis thought and thought and thought. His diesel oil cranked and cooled crossly. Thomas puffed away to go do his own work. <laughs> now Dennis would pretend to have something wrong with him. <laughs> so Dennis hooted his horn loudly. <laughs> Dennis was sounding his air horn louder and louder. <laughs> Thomas was back into the yard and he hadn't gotten very far when he heard Dennis's honking. <laughs> that sounds like Dennis, something must be wrong. And Thomas went to go check it out. <laughs> Thomas puffed back up to Dennis at the junction. <laughs> What's wrong, asked Thomas. Um, I don't know how to get to the school house, said Dennis. That was his next excuse. Don't worry, puffed Thomas. I'll take you there. <laughs> Dennis grinned deviously. He felt as though he was winning. <laughs> this time, Thomas took Dennis to the next junction. They hadn't gone very far either. They were by Trevor's Field. <laughs> Gordon, the big engine, was waiting there with the express. Hello, Thomas, the tank engine, and that diesel, 
said Gordon grandly. Dennis seethed deceitfully. Thomas, what are you doing helping him? He could be tricking you. Even if he is, it doesn't mean I shouldn't help him. Dennis, the next track to the schoolhouse is straight up to the junction, straight ahead to the left, and then take Gordon's Hill through Knapford to Brendan Docks, and on Wellsworth is the schoolhouse. That's a lot to remember, said Dennis. He was being cheeky again. But Thomas had to hurry, so he left quickly. <laughs> Goodbye, Dennis, said Gordon. <laughs> Dennis was cross. I have to get away from these trucks, he said, and he sped away quickly. <laughs> Dennis raced backwards faster and faster. Dennis didn't care about the tiles. He didn't care about Thomas. All he cared about was getting far and far away from his work. Dennis was heading backwards so fast that he plowed right into a field. <laughs> Dennis was upset. Now he was stuck and couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> Neville was waiting at a junction. Thomas pulled proudly in. <laughs> Thomas, I've got important news for you, said Neville. Dennis never arrived at the schoolhouse with the tiles. Do you know where he is? I think I do. I must help him, whistled Thomas. <laughs> that Thomas is a really silly engine, said Neville. <laughs> Thomas puffed along the line, trying to find Neville. Thomas puffed through a field. There he met Dennis. Dennis lay dazed and surprised and bruised and bemused, bunkered down into the field's well ground. Dennis, what are you doing here? asked Thomas. I thought you were back at the junction. I was, said Dennis, but I tricked you. You see, the truth is, I'm just a real lazy engine. I don't like to do much work, you know. Huh, I can see that, said Thomas. Please, Thomas, we must get the tiles of the schoolhouse in time. Will you help me, please? Thomas was cross, but he decided to help one last time. All right, he said, but this time you have to cooperate. It's settled then, said Dennis, happy to help. So Thomas pulled Dennis out of the marshland. Hmm, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Into the schoolhouse we go, said Dennis. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Dennis and Thomas arrived at the schoolhouse station. Sir Top and Matt was waiting for them. He was cross. Dennis, when I tell you to do a job, I expect it done immediately, boomed the fat controller. <laughs> Thomas was sad for Dennis. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, said Dennis. But Thomas has shown me that being a really resourceful engine is so much better than being really lazy. Thomas beamed from buffer to buffer. Sir Topham had beamed too. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas, said Dennis. From now on, I will try to be a really resourceful engine. <laughs>